Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper here with another review slash tutorial. Today we're checking out Sound Radix's Surfer EQ2. And this has been around for about a year, but I just got put onto it and I am absolutely blown away by it. What this thing does is, as you can tell, it's an EQ, very stylish looking, everything's sleek. And the biggest feature for me is the surf function via sidechain. So let me just give you an AB of this vocal with and without this EQ and you'll be blown away. And then what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and erase it and set it up and start to finish for you. So this is an AB and when I click the logo down here, it bypasses the plugin so you can hear the difference. Now just listen to this. And also pay attention to what's going on here in the spectrum because I think you'll notice very quickly what's happening. Is that not incredible? Did you not hear how much clearer those vocals are when using the Surfer EQ? It is absolutely mind blowing. So I'm gonna show you how to do this and I'm gonna talk a little bit about what it actually is doing along the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this for now. It's on the group. I'm gonna go smart, yeah, I can just go ahead and delete that. So what I have here is a group with There's a melody and some piano parts, and those are kind of taking up the same frequency range as my vocal here. So what I need to do is drop the Surfer EQ onto the group here. Surfer EQ is gonna be right here. Boom, I'm gonna drop it on the group, okay? And I want to turn on sidechain, and I wanna pump my vocal into the Surfer EQ so it can analyze the sound and then do its magic. So what I need to do is uh, create a return track. You see I have it, it's called Vox down here and I need to send my dry vocal 100% to that return track. You can see here, this is the one for the Vox return track. I'm gonna go all the way up to zero. That means 100% is gonna go in here, and that means it's gonna duplicate, essentially, that vocal. If I play it right now, it's gonna be super loud. But that's not what I wanna do. What I wanna do is send it to the group. So it's gonna be four group, and you can see that it's automatically picked up side chain inside of the Surfer EQ. If there's more than one device on the channel, it's gonna ask you to choose which one, and I only have that one device, so it's automatically chosen for me here inside of Ableton Live. So now what I can do is come in, and with side chain enabled, I can start turning on these EQs. So what I wanna do, first of all, is boost one of them. Actually, let's not boost that one, let's boost this one. Okay, and if I play that now, all it's gonna do is boost this, uh, this part of the frequency range for the group. But you can see there, while it's playing, you can see a second spectrum show up as green, and that is the spectrum of the vocal. So that's already pretty cool because then you can just come in and kind of maybe duck where you think the vocal is if I do something like this. Uh, it's got only a couple of different versions of the cue here. There are some really nice curves, but you don't have too much control there. But if I come in and do something like this, this like this is where the vocal is, right? Something like this. But the problem with that is it's really cutting out a lot and even when like the vocal isn't happening, it's still cutting and it's just, it's a little bit crude, especially in 2018, right? So watch what happens if I turn on surf. So the first thing I do is I'm gonna make it a little bit of a tighter cue here and I'm gonna cut and what I wanna do is choose the first harmonic here. Right now it's on the third harmonic, but I'm gonna pull it down to one. All you need to do is click there and drag down, and now it's on the first harmonic. And its surf is activated, so watch what happens when the vocal starts to sing to this EQ node. So you can see how awesome that is. It's actually cutting right around the first harmonic right here inside, or the root note, essentially. Number one is essentially the root note, the strongest fundamental inside of the vocal. So that's where I wanna cut the most, right? And it's so cool because now, let's see if there's anything sharper. No, so, uh, oops. 
I want to have it right here. Um, I want to leave that on one and right here like this. And what I want to do is turn on a second one and turn it on the second harmonic here. And then cut that a little bit. And again, bring it up to a, a sharp cue point here. And I want to cut a little bit less because the second fundamental is less apparent anyway. Or maybe you might want to cut more. It depends on how, how much you want your vocal to stand out. But I found that just cutting a little bit more here on the second, or we could even go the third and then the fifth down here. Let's go the fifth and cut it a little bit. And again, like this. And if we wanted to, we could even do the seventh, right? So again, turn on surf, go to the seventh. And these are the strongest uh, harmonic frequencies of, of anything. So you got one, a third, a fifth, and a seventh. And it just cuts just a little bit. And now watch what happens if I, when I play this and the vocal comes in. So now what I can do is actually use one of these other ones to maybe make a smiley face here. So I'm gonna cut out all of the frequencies in here where the vocal is, but you know, for the high point, we can, you know, or for the lows or the highs over here, we can actually come in and do it. So let's say we didn't want the seventh, we can actually come in and maybe make a high boost. And that way it's really gonna fill out the frequency range. It's gonna cut all of this. And remember, it's only cutting the stuff inside of this group, which is that piano and that lead synth. <laughs> It's just so phenomenal. It's just so phenomenal. You can even do that with some of the high and low cuts here. You also have the ability to adjust the pitch tolerance, the pitch threshold, the surf time, it's how quickly it moves. If I turn it up, it's actually gonna move a lot slower when the, the note shifts. So it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit slower of a process there, but if you're looking for it to really cut and be surgical, you want to have this milliseconds uh, like way down low. We also have the attack and recovery times down here, and really this is just phenomenal, especially for this type of thing right here. What I'm doing with the making space for that vocal inside of that group with the piano and the lead there. So anyway, uh, that was a quick look at the Surfer EQ and how to get it set up inside of Ableton Live for one. And my opinion on why it's so freaking awesome. I hope you learned something. We will see you next time.